So the final event on the track for the female athletes, the women's 4x400 metre relays. Jamaica will be strong in three, but as will Great Britain, Northern Ireland and the US of A in six and seven. So two more events on the track. Women's 4x4 relay. Germany will start in lane number eight. Laura Marks due to be the first leg runner for them. Nelly Schmidt will bring the Germans home. USA in seven. Thomas, Horton, Blocker, Ocolo. Great Britain, Northern Ireland in six. Zoe Clark. Lynette Agupong, Amy Alcock and Emily Diamond. Silver at the World Championships last year. A little blow of a kiss there from the Polish team in lane number five. Holo Kluwicki, Baumgart, due to bring them home. The French squad in lane number four. Gloria Gui, due to anchor them home on the fourth leg here. And this is a decent Jamaica team in lane number three. Christine Day, Geneve Russell, McPherson on the last leg. And South Africa in lane number two. Balfourman on first, Wendell on last. Women's 4x400 metre relay. McPherson who won the individual 400 on the final leg for Jamaica. Second in the individual 400. Floria Gui brings them home for France. And Courtney Ocolo, fifth in the individual 400 metres, brings the USA team home. South Africa, Jamaica, France, Poland, Great Britain, Northern Ireland, the United States of America and Germany. The final female track action on day one of this Athletics World Cup. Expect Jamaica, Great Britain, USA to be strong. Set. So another clean start under the floodlights of the London Stadium. Zoe Clark running well for Great Britain and Northern Ireland in lane number six. Day of Jamaica going well in lane number three. The Jamaicans were going so well here last year in the World Championships, but an injury to their second leg runner put hopes to any medal that the Jamaican team could win. Thomas going well for the USA in lane number seven. The first leg run completely in lanes. So down the home straight for the first time in this women's four by four. Poland putting themselves in a good position. When the stagger unwinds, Poland are in a great position here on their first leg. America, though, holding on with Thomas in lane number seven. Let's see who's ahead of the changeover. They hold the batons high. The incoming runner goes out. And I think Poland are edging this one in this women's 4 by 4 Yeah, very good luck. leg there from uh, Holland Kulak Kovalik of uh, Poland on the opening leg. Although the USA's outgoing runner, uh, incoming runner, rather, Brianna Thomas, the first leg runner, ran strongly. And she's handed over to uh, Keanu Horton on this second leg, who leads marginally, but brilliant running here from the Poles to in third place. These three, you could almost throw a blanket over them, couldn't you? So a little bit of a breakaway here. USA, Jamaica, Poland, the individual 400 meter. Runner Russell storming down the home straight here. Great Britain and Northern Ireland running well into second or third position here. This is good running by the British team, but a virtually identical handover. Jamaica and the USA. Got to get on that inside line. You don't want to be running further. Expect the American athlete to cut inside down the back straight, and the Jamaican does as well. Jamaica leading the USA. Vanette Agupong for Great Britain and Northern Ireland, currently in third position for the British team. The long blonde hair of the American onto the shoulder of the Jamaican, looking to get the baton over. The athlete who's incoming looks down the home straight. The next leg runner is put in position at the 200 metre mark. Wherever their athlete is, they're not allowed to move. So now coming into the final changeover, this women's 4x4. 
Yes, good luck this from the American Keanu Hawk. She hands over by the way, about a four metre lead there from Jamaica. The rest of them go through with Britain locked together with Poland. I think Poland just getting the third spot as they hand it over there. That's a separate battle from this up front, really, with a full-blooded contest between the Americans and the Jamaicans or the USA beginning to ease away. That's a gap of about four metres with 200 to run. So Baumgart of Poland and Diamond of Great Britain battling for the third position, but it's the USA, the familiar baton-holding style of the American team, but it's so much easier to chase than to lead. Jamaica on a charge with McPherson. We are France in the left of his shot coming into a podium finish. France are going to get on the podium here, but look at the battle. Is it going to be France? Is it going to be Jamaica? Can she get inside? Oh! 3.24.28. Well, we await the replays on the final stages of that 4x4. Four four. USA, Jamaica and France currently in the top three positions. Did the American hold her line? Did she cut the Jamaican well, off? <laughs> that, that thought crossed my mind, Catherine, exactly that, with about 30 or 40 to go. Did the American sense the Jamaican coming, trying to come through on her inside and move left? I'd like to think not. Courtney O'Connor it was, who was fourth in the individual 400, who I think survived, and I don't think if she did move off her line, it was uh, significant enough to cause any kind of protest from the Jamaicans. The Americans coming up on our computers as a winner with 3.24.28 to 3.24.29. One one hundredth of a second in it between the USA and Jamaica there, first and second, with uh, Gloria Gay producing yet another of those astonishing relay legs there. Left of picture in fifth place coming into the straight. Just blast past uh, the British athlete and the pole as well. She did this at the European Championships in Zurich back in 2014. She ran a sub-50 second relay leg. She's a different athlete altogether, almost schizophrenic when she gets that relay button in her hand. Well, you saw the tight finish, the steely eyes of McPherson. She ran the quickest split in the Jamaican team, 49.8 seconds on the last leg but she was denied the victory by one one hundredth of a second. Look at Akolo. She knew that McPherson would be coming, the contrast in styles. You're holding on in the 400 metres in the last 50. You're full of lactic. But it was USA in the final female event that held on for the eight points. Look at that on the right of your shot. It's the torso that crosses the line that counts. It's the chest. It doesn't matter what your knees or your head are doing. Good points for the USA, good final female track action. Fabulous contest, wasn't it? It really encapsulates how fierce the competition has been over this first day of two at this uh, World Cup of 2018. The USA coming out on top by the smallest of margins. Some athletes throw an arm out in front of them, which they believe drags their chest slightly further forward by a centimetre or two. You see the Poles doing it at 800, and that sort of thing. They're coached to do it, I think. It wasn't necessarily that for the USA squad with Courtney Ocolo bringing on the home OK. So 324.28 for the United States of America. They end with eight points in the women's 4 by 400 meter relay, seven points for Jamaica, six for France, and Poland coming fourth. Lots of season's best times, but that's to be ignored because relay teams run fast all the time when they get together. USA ran fastest today, though.